Time now for On Her Turf, Women Changing the Game, presented by Principal. And as we say hello to tournament host and World Golf Hall of Famer, Sayree Pak, thank you so much for taking the, the time to join us today. Sayree, first of all, tell us about how all of this came together with you and the LPGA Tour. Was it always your goal to host an LPGA event? First of all, hi. It has been a long time. Yes, um, I was I was dreaming about this. I was dreaming about uh, having my own tournaments on my name in the LPGA, but I wasn't sure it's gonna be happen. But after I'm retired for eight years, and I'm here, I mean, actually, I wasn't sure this is really happening to me. Mm -hmm. But uh, really, very excited, excited to be happy, and very honor, honor to have my own events in. Uh, the LPGA Tour. So what has the experience been like so far for you to be a tournament host? And are there any surprises as yet? Uh, well, I, I'm the actually most excited, but at the same time, I don't really see any player yet because it's not really secret to come in, but however, I, I, know, I don't see any player uh, I was doing the even I, I was doing any at the golf course. So probably later on, I'm gonna be walk out and see so many players, but we'll see. Um, actually, I was really question what the actioning was, but I, I, actually, I'm the one more having fun here now. As it should be, your playing career was absolutely incredible, clearly worthy of World Golf Hall of Fame status. So when you look back on it, what are you wow. the most proud of? Uh, well, um, most proud of is first step. I played the LPGA Tour. That's the most the biggest goal I am at setting myself. At the same time, um, I learned a lot. I grew up a lot, uh, play with the uh, such a great legend player in the LPGA. So, um overall i mean i said i'm always talk about i tell about the people i saw how much a lucky person i am because my biggest goal i was studying before i moved to us as i was trying to make my names on the world golf hall of fame if i gonna be possible to do that but i know it's gonna be impossible but i said however uh my dreams has come true so after 18 years I played the LPGA, event, uh, LPGA tour. I retired, go back to Korea, and I work for my own company. And at the same time, I have my foundation to give uh, some more junior event chance sponsoring. And now, actually, more biggest right now, the LPGA tour. I having my own names on the tour, so it's most grateful and honor, honoring uh, in a day. Sayri, you are continuing to make dreams come true because your career was so impactful on the growth of golf, particularly in South Korea and in Asia. Why do you think that it took off the way that it did, especially in the women's game? <laughs> that was really hard, always the question about that. But, well, I guess, um, as you know, um, Asia, it's not really especially golf games not back then it's not going to be popular at all um especially my country the golf history of korea is really short that moment and after 1998 after that they're going to be grow really fast but most important and impact i gave them to the uh, tour was uh was more confidence actually oh we have a, such a great we have a uh, bigger great war you know, tour in the LPGA, and I'm the one first started, and then I saw that I like, showing that I'm winning the event. So, I think I giving so many young or parents giving a lot of confidence to be they can do their own dreams too. You know, that's why. That's why I think our country, as you can see, many players come from my country. At the same time, after Korea, players doing a lot. Uh, doing a uh, play a lot in the LPGA, doing really well, and then at the same time, Asian golf is growing at the same time. So, I think most important, I give them also the confidence, I guess. And you mentioned that you retired some eight years ago. Do you notice any big differences in the women's game today versus when you were playing week in and week out? I think it was 
nothing really huge difference that I can see, but it's some differences as a more players, more talent player from the uh, more different countries, especially more Asian co Asian player from, you know, from from Asian player to the U.S. You know, LPJ uh, tour. So that's the most important. At the same time, I see the differences, but but at the same time, we have a more I guess more sponsoring and prices are higher and more, you know, tension of the LPGA. So that's differences back then now, I guess. You mentioned a little bit about what you've been doing since your retirement from the professional game. You've taken on this new chapter of life in entertainment in South Korea. You have a very popular YouTube channel with over 340,000 subscribers, and you've made many appearances on Korean television shows. What's this new chapter of life brought to you? You know what? Actually, for me, um, as a player, it used to be, you know, athlete, but at the same time, I do some different new style of life I'm trying to leave. But ever since I'm starting, it's pretty much not, you know, uncomfortable with that, but I was really fun to 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 do that because as a as a players, I'm I never done it before. Always been focused, always in practice, always travel. This is my life is always the same, you know, routine every year. But after I retire, do something differently, and at the same time, I do my own uh, company, and then you can see you talk about entertainment. I do a lot of broadcasting at the same time. I do uh, commentating also the events. So, uh, I mean, everything's a new, new lifestyle. I'm trying it. It's really fun, excited. And then at the same time, I learn a lot to, uh, to myself of growing it. So it really, really great, great to be, try it. It's new stuff. All right. Well, on that theme of learning, if you could go back in time, and you could give advice to a young, say, Repak. What advice would you give to a younger you? Well, I tell myself that I was back in young age. I said, uh, enjoy the world, find the right balance of life. I think most mistake I have. Only one thing, I think. Uh, everything is imperfect, but only one thing, biggest mistake is I don't have my great balance in my life. Golf in my life, but always golf is my more uh, heavier side. So I never, thinking about that, I never really happy about the playing. At the time, I was really happy in golf, but I wasn't, the question, I, I, I do really happy or you're, just for the work or I mean always question about it so that's why I have a, a burnout actually I have a slump um, so after I come back from the slump I learn a lot and back then I realized that how important is your life has a great balance to find so young age young player I'm trying to give them for the uh, other devices more biggest important things I give them also balanced life of golf Life and li life and golf. You know that that's that's what I'm trying to keep it more or all the time. And keeping the final right balance of your life. It certainly sounds like you are finding that balance now. But thank you very much for everything that you've done for the game, and thank you for putting your name to this LPGA event this week. We're very much looking forward to it, and we thank you for your time. Thank you.